Why am I running 100 miles? This race isn't about me. It's about my cousin who had a spirit filled with adventure. He was a cowboy, a bull rider. He loved his boats, his motorcycles, to BMX riding. I think we both have that same fearless spirit inside of us. So what better way to honor his legacy than running 100 miles in 20 hours? This race is for those who can't. My name is Manny Zubia, and this is the No Bad Days documentary. So mentally, before the race, I was pretty nervous just because of the time, sub 20 hours, which at Born to Run, my time was 25 hours and 33 minutes. I said, man, game day, saddle to surf 100. The goal is to get it in under 20 hours, so 1940, 1955. And I feel nervous right now, excited, but um, ready to get this done, man. Been training too much for this, so. Uh, it's, it's game time now. So we had to shave off five and a half hours with not as much elevation, but we're still getting some elevation and we're moving at a faster speed. You ready? Yeah, brother. This thing is crazy. I this know. is crazy. If you just need to stop at my house, just it's on the way. Yeah, it's on the trail. Real quick? It's, it's literally <laughs> my apartment's literally on the trail. Like oh, it, nice. people go I was nervous about my legs. You know, if they were able to take the pounding, my shoes. If I was gonna have issues with my feet. So I was just thinking about these pre-race and then um, during the race, all those feelings went away. Dear God, we thank you for community. We thank you for this morning, the clouds, uh, just the, the people that are here. Uh, but God, this group thanks you for Manny and his heart, his spirit, his legs, um, his willingness to do things that a lot of people won't, um, but not only do it for himself, but bigger purpose Lord we pray that you protect him we pray that you speak to him we pray that you're here for us the crew um, the pacers Lord we pray that you just put your touch on today and protect it and reward Manny's hard work all the miles he's put in Lord reward that please we ask you in Jesus name Amen, Amen. Amen. Alright so start of the race man it was very high energy I felt really good Filled up on carbs, so I felt so good. My legs felt really good. So when I took off, man, I was the first one out. First stop, we had to go to the school and run 14 laps around the school to make up uh, miles because the route had changed. So we did 14 laps at the school, which was pretty brutal, you know. But I mean, I was ha I was happy. It was at the beginning of the race. Right here, baby. On the. Fifth lap? Damn. I thought we were on the six. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe fifth, but okay. Let me keep going, man. Got 14 laps here. And then head to the beach. Let's go, baby. Be. I'm assuming they all remember yeah, me because I ran Manny's 50k with him. Yeah, his first best friend. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Make, make sure that gets the video. <laughs> Don't cut that out. We have Switchback Electrolytes who were a sponsor of the race as well, sending me electrolytes. I was taking those in at each aid station, 1,000 milligrams of electrolytes, depending on how I felt and how hydrated I was. <laughs> We're really ahead, so we'll see you. We'll see you guys at the next one. Good uh, job, babe. Uh, get some mache ready okay. so I can put it on my legs. Okay. And, uh, my glasses. Okay. Yes, sir. Hey, bro. You're killing me. Good job, babe. Let's go, baby. 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 Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. You got this, son. You pray for this. Love you. Good work. Good right. work, my friend. We'll see you guys at the next one. Go get them. Woo! Anything to say real quick? All right, baby. 14 laps here at the school. Um, feel good, man. We're going really, really fast, but we got to chill. All right, Drew, I'll see you, baby. Um, we gotta, we're going to chill a little bit, maybe get a little bit of walking because we're really ahead, man. So it was just the adrenaline, Matt Johnson freaking pacing with me. So. 
Um, I just got to remember this is my race. And, um, you know, I have a goal in time and I'm just trying to reach it, baby. I'll see you at the next one, right? Let's get it. After the school, we took off to the park and I just felt really good. I, I like everything was effortless up until mile 40. Like it didn't even feel like I started the race. Y'all already know what it is. Set up to surf 100, baby. 20 hours. Let's get it. You know, everything was going good with my crew. They were there when I needed them at each stop. Mile 11 right now. Feeling good, man. A lot of energy. Uh, so keep going, man. Okay, so the update is that we are on Lake 3. We are at Mangular Park. And the request that he has is he wants um, his handheld water bottle with tailwind and electrolytes. And he also wants coconut water, um, the massage gun, and the Ashe muscle gel. So we have his little setup right here. We're waiting for him to come in so we can get him all put together and get him on the road. <laughs> all we had to do was load up on food, rub some mache, pure naturals all over the legs, just so I wouldn't be feeling so much so soreness at wow. early of the race. Try to uh, focus on this knee pretty good too, and then on my hamstrings, please. Give him his glasses, please. Yeah, how you feeling? Feel good. Feel good, man. Just getting started still. Mile, about to hit mile 15. Race hasn't started yet. Race hasn't even started. Um, when's the next aid station? Starbucks? Yeah. Give him his coconut water. Coconut water. Wait a minute. Yeah, you should have met it, guys. Coconut water. Mike. You know, started to feel a little something on my foot, which was like a little pain. So I wanted to take off my socks and get some mache on it, and the pain went away. Let her, let him put the thing on. She's here. Oh, just on this one. Got pineapple here, man. If you want it. Do you need any more electrolytes? A refill at all? What number are you? Yeah, just put it in here, please. Oh, you're okay. Just hit one minute, guys. You're good? You need a massage, Dean? No, I'm good. Uh, yeah, what's your watch saying on your mileage count, brother? 20.3. So good. What do we have, or you want anything else? Um, maybe some stingle waffles to take. You guys should grab me some more. Yeah, bro, it's 11.09 right now. Manny just hit 26 and a half miles, so he's already ran more than a marathon. Uh, he's about a little over halfway to Huntington, uh, making good time. Says he's feeling good, said he's getting a little tired, uh, heart rate a little high, but he's gonna dial it in. He's, he just said he was hitting 950 miles, so that's well well faster than, than the pace needed, but uh, yeah, he's doing good, looking strong. So if you could send it. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Right. Woo! Woo! Good work. Good job. Good you, work. You're gonna have to, yeah. do you want me to switch this out? Uh, just put some more water, like more water. water. We we're good, we're about 20, about to be 25 yeah. miles in. You said 25 miles in. 25 exactly? Uh, 24.7. Okay. Fine, we're going to update you on the times and whatnot. Make sure you're hitting it. Right now, <laughs> you're good. You're about 45, you're 55 minutes ahead right now. All right. Where do you need to get back? Okay, what does it say we're at right here? This is where it's 26.5. Okay, so yeah, yeah. So this next one is pretty big. The, when we get to um, Huntington, it, we should be at 53. 53 and a half. Yeah, 53 and a half, right? So yeah. hopefully we're at That's, right. Yeah, so according to these, we're good. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, okay, awesome. Let's go get this. Let's go get this. 
Okay, I'm the GoPro. Here with man <laughs> putting in that work. <laughs> Let's go. We just hit mile 25. My man's dropped off the GoPro so I could bring you guys along for a little bit. It's pretty easy, pretty chill. We're smoothing right now. 50 minutes ahead of schedule. That's brutal. <laughs> that was brutal. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, Do it again. Is that Omarion? Huh? Nah. Yes, yeah. please. <laughs> yes, please. Roll bounce. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I mean, I feel like I'm at mile 70, and I don't understand why. Like, it's like my my muscles just are. A little tender. Let's go, baby. Mile 32. Feeling good. Man, I was in a dark spot. 20, 28. Man, I had to like do some self talk and be like, yo, man, you that dog. You got that dog in you. <laughs> you know, just get myself out of that mindset, bro, of starting to get down. We got a lot of race left, so, you know, I'm good now. Ran out of water like three miles ago, so I think we need to switch up maybe to, to the best or something. Because I don't know. We gotta see how far is the next stop. 6.5. All right, that's good. Cook it, baby. What's, what's the next one? Sart. Sart? How far is it from here? I believe. I've been running out of water. Yeah, or give me that coconut water, please. That should be good. Okay. Maybe take another electrolyte too, just in case. Yeah. Maybe one or two. It's game time, baby. Feeling good still? Haven't even broke a sweat, big dog. Feel me? Yeah. Ah, let's get it. I'll see you. good my stomach was kind of I'm like damn I need to kind of switch up the food a little bit or maybe I'm eating too much so I'm, I'm gonna let my stomach chill for a little bit maybe just like some avocado get some fats in me cuz this my stomach is freaking just been eating bro you know so feel good though if I get some electrolytes the salt pills are trying to trying to get tired of the taste so let's get the honey tea man and right there reset drink some caffeine put on some music because right there now i earned i earned to have some music man yeah all these people man bumping music trying to get out their head on me i don't deserve the music yet so once we get to mile 50 then i earned some music, some podcasts, you know, some caffeine. And then, man, we'll, we'll just start cooking. Yeah, we're at mile 35. Uh, no, I'm all right. Still moving. I'm alive. I got blood going through my veins. I'm breathing in oxygen. That's all I can hope for, baby. So, I got that going on. My legs are working. I'm just keep moving. Why is it funny that way? I could see you. Okay. Uh, we're at the golf course right here behind me. Okay. Or. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just got, he just came through the golf course. Uh, he just head out that way. And uh, he's at mile. Chance of rain? Huh? Chance of rain? Chance of rain. We got a light chance of rain here. Uh, on the way back, we are going to see some drizzling. 
so we just got to do that. <laughs> and there he goes. Brennan, how many, uh, what miles you on? 39.3. Wow. Yeah. It was a crucial part in where, you know, there was no restrooms on the course. No restrooms at all. So you have to look for a restroom and that could take time off your, you know, the course. So you gotta find a restroom, and you gotta you gotta go into a business, use the restroom. Hopefully somebody's not in there. There was a few times where I was at a park, and someone was using the restroom. So I couldn't just stop and wait till he was finished. I had to keep going, and I was drinking too many electrolytes that my body was refusing it. So I had to keep using the restroom, and finally, um, I was five miles out from a Starbucks, and. My sister was holding the restroom so nobody would go in there. And finally I got in and I felt so much better. I was really good. <laughs> feel good, feel better, man. Pineapples or anything? No. Um, Peanut butter and jelly? No. Right here. Just give it some bit so open it. We get to Huntington Beach and there's an air show going on. And there's just fighter jets flying everywhere. Everyone's there for the air show. And me, I'm just running past everybody trying to get to the 50 mile mark so I could turn around and go back to Norco, California. And nobody knows this. Nobody knows what's going on. They're just enjoying the air show. And at that time, I was just feeling really low because I was just thinking that I had to turn back around and do it all over again. So my mind was just, you know, bringing out weakness and saying like, we should have just done a 50 mile race. Like, and we could have just experienced the air show. I could have been with my family, my crew, we could have had a good time. I was just thinking that in my head. And I mean, we, we say these things because, you know, it gives us a little bit of comfort, but it, it goes away because we got to turn back around and do the 100 miles. Going through it a little bit right now. It's just that that mental game of you just hit 50 and now you got to go back and do that whole thing over again so it's in my mind right now just trying to get out of it probably once I get off the beach and just it'll be like I'm just going home man it's just the beach is fucking with me right now what you say though bro you get to exactly and of course the 50 would have been fun, but there would have been no challenge for me. Doing the 100 miles is what made it more difficult. But like I'm just deep in the pain cave and just trying to get back home, trying to get back to the next aid station. Damn, only took you 53 miles. You okay? Yeah, I'm good, I'm eating, I'm chilling. I had to take some meds, I had to eat, yeah. get some rice, chicken, take a shit. I didn't take a shit yet. Oh, damn. Just water in here? Or electrolyte? Yeah, you can do it. What's your watch? 56.6. 56.6. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're actually ahead. It was supposed to be like 53 and you're at 56. Oh, yeah, yeah. Your nose up your mouth. You're up a fanny. You're more than halfway there. That's oh, crazy. yeah, you're a fanny. You're bobbing. That's wild. All right. About to start. About to start. I'm about to start uh, pacing Manny right now. Uh, and we'll go about 12 miles with him, give or take. See how I'm feeling. Get these legs going. <laughs> yeah. So then we left. We left Huntington Beach. I was gonna pick up my first pacer at mile 62, which was Matt Ornelas. He was gonna take me 11 miles to my next pacer. And when I was with Matt, man, we felt good. We felt really, really good. We were talking, you know, 
it was just kind of like moving. We're just moving to get home. I got some warm soup or noodles here for you. It says that water. Oh, yeah. Just don't stop it. You are, sir. How do you how do you charge it? Just uh, there's. Don't stop it though. There's these little things right there. How are you know feeling? Charge it. Okay. How was it? It's good. It's good. Keeping a good pace. We we're trying to find the bridge going over. So now it's getting dark. Yeah. Yeah, we rain got started. For you guys, rain so. started coming too, yeah, so it was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's plugged it's in at least. Another element to check. check. What was that? Was that six miles? Five. 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 Yeah. <sighs> you got this, Manny. You got this. You got this. You guys are rocking. You're doing good, Manny. You're doing really good, Manny. Killing it. We're doing really good. Inspiring, man. Really inspiring. Go Manny. Go Matt. Let's go guys. You just have yours, right? No, there's oh, the two ahead. There's two, there's two. Yeah. You're good. Thanks. In style. Unless you want the disco ball. Ooh. To run like this. <laughs> or is there a little yeah. uh, I think I'll just take this one. Yeah. Manny, look how cute. You just sent the several. He's rooting for you. All right. Let's go, guys. Kill it. All right, go do it. That's it, right? We'll see you guys at the next stop. Yeah, boys. Get it. Water. You got water? Your water? Yeah. Matt, your water? Good right here. Oh, my watch. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. All right, Manny. We'll just keep charging you at each stop. Okay. Okay, pal. We'll keep the charging. We'll see you at the next one. Let's go, Okay. Good work. You got this, you Maddie. Got this, You're man. almost there. You're almost there. What can we give you? Talk to us. Water, Do you want please. some sparkling water? Like for Savage. your stomach? Drink that. Drink it. Matt, water? Manny. I'm in the pancake bowl. Okay. Right. You got this. You're good, Manny. You're good. My there. watch? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Here. Uh, so it was actually pretty nice. Like, uh, it was dirt on the other side, so we were just kind of cruising. And there was a couple, like, up and, up and downs, but we kept, we were keeping at, like, 11, 11 uh, minute pace. He was, he's doing good. He's doing good. Uh, you know, I think it's all in his head right now. So. Yeah. How's this? Yeah, how's his like mental? Mentally, he's a little bit checking out. Yeah, he, he wants to be done with it. Um, but overall, I mean, I think he still has a lot of confidence in himself to push through. Almost there. It's thirtieth. We're riding bulls and we're punching bulls. He's counting on you. He's waiting for you, in Norco. Okay. We're riding bulls and punching bulls. All right. Another minute. Another minute. Yeah. Take. You're doing good on time. You want more honey? Hi. You got this, buddy. I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of you. You're doing a really good job. Okay? Once you're done with this, um, go back to the babies. Yep. yep. Give them hugs. Take a nice little nap. Yeah. They little know your, their daddy's doing something so good. Yeah. I'm very proud of you. I'm very honored by you. Hey, buddy. Get locked in. You got this, Manny. Yeah, yeah, I believe in you. I believe in you. Race is starting now, baby. Easy, easy. You got this, babe. Watch, watch. Watch. 
I got his bottle. Ready to go out? Yeah, dude. Let's do this thing. He's been training so long for this. It's like, this is the moment he's been training for. All the other stuff is good, but this is the, uh, <laughs> this is the one. We got to our next pacer, which is Danny, and he was gonna do 26 miles with me. It's feeling good. Uh, it's a little, little rough stretch. Uh, we lost some electrolytes. He, he let him go. Uh, he threw up a little bit, but we got we got some pills back in him, and he he ate those last three, dude. He ate those last three. We're, okay. we're, we're finding a sweet spot. Man, I was I was in I was in some pain. I. A lot of times in my head, I was just going over um, that I was fine with not hitting my goal of sub 20 hours. Just because of the pain I was going through in my legs and just my, uh, my fatigue, I was ready just to tell them, you know what, man, I just want to finish the race. I don't care about the goal. I never said it out loud, but I kept thinking it. Um, so he didn't know that. So he's just trying to get me to the 20 hour goal and he's pushing the pace. There's moments where I tell him, man, I need to start walking. And he's like, all right, man, we're gonna walk for one minute and then we're gonna pick it back up again. So we kept doing that. The minute kept turning into two minutes. And then from two minutes, it went to three minutes. And man, he really wanted me to get to the sub 20. So I didn't want to tell him like, man, I was fine not getting sub 20. Like I didn't want to hit, I didn't care about hitting the goal. I was just so tired. My mind was just, you know, trying to give into that weakness of, you know what, let's pull back. Let's just start walking. But he wouldn't let me. So we kept moving. We're just trying to get to each aid station, which is about five, six miles out. And that's all we're trying to do is just get to the next aid station. Huh? We're all doing a good okay. job. Oh, update. Okay, so he is at 81.3 um, and it is 10.30 p.m., which is pretty amazing. We're so proud of him. He just looks a little tired, but I feel like at 81, like what do you expect? We're so proud of him and just so honored to be a part of his crew. I think that just letting him know that, it just kind of helped him a little bit. So yeah, I'm so stoked and we're gonna follow him, keep chasing him and woo, let's get it. Happy birthday, Lupe. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Oh, thank you. Just seeing my crew at each aid station is what like helped me to keep going. You know, they brought in all the energy, telling me they're very proud of me, that they're inspired, and you know, that's just fueling me more. You know, I'm really quiet at these moments. You know, I'm not talking, I'm not looking at anyone, I'm not saying anything. I'm just like, just trying to get to the next stop. So, it's, you know, if it wasn't for my crew, I, there's no way I could have finished the race. There's no way I would have got a sub 20 hour goal. There's no way. You know, I, there's a lot of times where I would have just, you know, gave into the weakness and just said, you know what? Let's just, let's just finish. Let's get 24 hours, 25 hours. It doesn't matter. We're just going to finish. Remember Richard said, who's going to carry the boat? Woo! Who's going to carry the boat? You can do it. Come on, you're out there fighting for him. Who's going to carry the boat? Get the job Richard's done. Richard's watching you. <laughs> It's time to get up the hill to get to the finish line and you know I'm just so happy that I just got so much energy at that time like I just got filled with like highs like so many highs because my crew was all there they spend 20 hours of their day just to come see me run and for that it, it just fueled me more <laughs> Great, Manny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're making us so proud. Thank you so much. You want to chill a little bit, or you? Fucking go home. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is it. Let's do it. Woo! 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 Good shit, guys.
devastating hit to my family and you know it just broke our hearts how soon he left us 242 right now and oh here, here he comes, comes. here he comes, here he comes. This here he comes. Is, uh, and for his two-year anniversary I wanted to do something special and it was run 100 miles and just so happens that this race was located in Norco California which was a big a big place for him you know he loved it there um, he was a cowboy he was a bull rider, he was relentless. He was, you know, everything that, you know, I hope to be as, a, as, a, as someone who's just crazy and relentless. You know, I wanted to bring my family together. Instead of, you know, instead of feeling depressed and emotional about him not being here, like, let's do something special for him. Something in his name to honor his legacy, for him to smile down upon us and to, you know, see us all come together to accomplish a goal of running 100 miles in 20 hours. No bad days signifies each day above ground is a good day. You know, it's a great day to be alive. We're able to move our bodies. We're with our families. You know, not taking each day for granted. You know, if you woke up, you know, make the best of it. You know, make the best of the day when you woke up and, you know, do something amazing. You know, do something special and because tomorrow's not promised to any of us. Richard, I love you. You were taken from us very soon. You know, I just hope that this 100 mile race, getting the goal, being with your family, and then us doing something very special, getting first place, hitting the course record. You know, all of this came into fruition, you know, for you. And I felt your spirit while I was running. Every time I was having a bad time, I would just look at the sky and I would say, Richard, Come with me. Like, we're, we're doing this together. And I would just feel some electric like feeling and it would just keep me pushing. So I know you were with me and I just want to thank you for helping me get the goal done. How do you feel? Ready for another? Let's go back. <laughs> journey right yeah. well first I'm gonna do the funny one and then I'll do the real one so um, in the spirit of saddle to surf and starting and ending this race in Norco this is an actual shoe from one of my horses that <laughs> <laughs> I told my farrier save them all and so we have those and that's for you and this one this is a sub 24 hour finisher saddle to surf 2023 Thank you so much. Yay! Yay! Yes, and on behalf of every kid 
that you've inspired today and all these people that you've inspired today. Thank you. Thank you. What you've done today is very incredible. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so, yes, There's give every, it to uh, to the beach and back. Man. To the beach and back. Wow. Thank you. The Russo models after 100 miles. <laughs> All right, so my crew involved my wife, Geneva, who was in charge of the food and hydration, um, kind of anticipating my needs of what I was gonna want. And it was my sister who was in charge of, you know, charging my electronics and also just supporting uh, my wife. Then we have Jasper. Jasper was in charge of keeping time, which he did a really good job at. We also have Matt, where he came in as a pacer. He was also in charge of making any type of decisions. We had my mom who was just in charge of basically applying Ache Pure Naturals on my legs, a massage gun, and which she helped out my Aunt Lupe who was also in charge of, you know, um, kind of like being first aid and changing socks, rubbing Ache as well. And then we had Danny who came in as a pacer and he ran 26 miles with me. And he was also um, kind of like another part of the crew chief where he was trying to keep me on pace. We also had Amy who was in charge of first aid. You know, she came and kind of helped out with the blisters. Then we have Brennick. Brennick was the production team, you know, camera, uh, video, you know, snapping photos, just getting everything on the, on the electric bike. He did a lot of stunts for the, for the, for this race, so um, very thankful for Brennick. Last one. What's next? <laughs> uh, what's next? <laughs> what's next? Um, what's next is you know spending time with my family, enjoying them, not being so selfish all the time, and trying to go out and do these crazy things. But I don't know, man, we might chase a sub three hour marathon. <laughs> you know, we've been going slow in these ultra marathons, so maybe it's time to pick up some speed, qualify for Boston, get that sub three, and you know, just keep chasing these goals. Man, I just, I just wanna thank my crew, my wife, Geneva, who was amazing. She's the best. She is my greatest supporter and if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't even be this man today. I wanna to thank my sister and her boyfriend Jasper who played a major part. They were there the whole time and never complained. They were just, you know, keeping the good, they were keeping high spirits. I wanna thank Matt who's my best friend and he was just there with me the whole time. Running at, you know, midnight through Angel Stadium, just, just, man, we're just having a good time. And, and I wanna thank Danny who, Last minute, you know, came in as a pacer, ran 26 miles with me, and, you know, got me to the sub 20 hour goal. I wanna thank my mom, who was very supportive. She, everything I needed for the race, she, she got it for me. Um, anything that I ever need, she's always there. I wanna thank my Aunt Lupe, who was there the entire time and was always with the high energy and, you know, just being there for her son who was Richard and she got to see me do something for him which was very special and I want to thank Amy who was the first aid and you know she came in at the last second and helped out with any blisters or any type of foot pain I want to thank Switchback Electrolytes I want to thank Ache Pure Naturals Topical Muscle Gel and um, I want to thank my I want to thank Brennick production flying out from Utah to come and support the race this was our second race together and um, there's many more after this so thank you to everybody um, that has supported me thank you for all the messages and um, see you on the next one who's gonna carry the boats who's gonna carry the boats who's gonna carry the boats that's a wrap ah. feel good though Good. <laughs> We're good though.